Hello all. In this lecture, I'm going to share with you the use of even and odd function in the expansion of Fourier series. So before I talk about the Fourier series expansion, uh, where the function is even and odd from negative to positive interval, uh, let's recall that what are the even function, how we can define even function and uh, with examples and odd functions. So any function which we are uh, denoting say here I have denoted a function by fx so fx is a function and uh, I am calling it as an even function if you observe that by replacing x by minus x I am getting back the function fx so it is an even function like example is x square cos x mod x why because if you are calling fx is equals to x square so what is f of minus x? f of minus x is equals to minus x whole square and minus x whole square is again x square. So we are getting back our function. So if we want to check whether it is even or not, we can use this uh, relation. And if this relation holds, it is an even function. So x square satisfy this relation, cos x satisfy this relation, mod x to satisfy cos of even any multiple like cos 2x, 3x or nx and secant x or secant nx and the uh, odd function is uh, defined as that f of negative x is equals to minus times fx so fx value and f of negative x are equal in magnitude but opposite its sign for example if you are calling fx is equals to x cube let's say here uh, so when I replace minus x, so it is minus x cube and minus x uh, cube is minus x cube. And this is again function with the opposite sign. So it is an odd function. Now since in the Fourier series expansion, we come across in the calculation of a and b n, the multiplication of the function with the sine cos. So this is important uh, point which can help us to find out the values. So let's see that if the function is even and when we are mad, it's not a number, it's an even function and even function. When two even functions are multiplying, the sign is positive, positive. The total function is again positive, so it is even. Now, if the function is even, one function is even and another function is odd, the, the next term, the, the resultant function is an odd function. Warning over here, we are not talking about the even odd numbers. We are talking about the function and definition of function is that f of minus x is equals to fx and here f of minus x is equals to minus fx. So when you multiply, you get a negative value. So it's an odd function. And when odd function and odd functions are multiplied, both give us negative, negative and they multiply and get a positive answer and we come up with a positive and this is an even function. Let's see an example. Here, this x is by nature, x is an odd function and uh, cos is an even function. When even and odd are multiplied, the resultant is odd function. Here, x is odd function, sin x is odd function. When odd and odd are multiplied, we get an even function. Now here, x square is an even function, cos x is an even function and even and even multiplied is an even function. So this is important point. Now, uh, why we are sharing all these things? Because if your interval is from minus a to a and uh, we are having even odd function, one of the property of definite integral is going to give us a great help over here. And we know that minus a to a fx dx value is double of the half of the interval because uh, minus, uh, if it is minus a and there is a zero in between and there is a so we can calculate this part and make a double of it. It is in the even case. But if we have an odd function, the this part and this part is of opposite sign, the answer is 0. So this property is again an important one. Now let's see the main part of this discussion that what would be the Fourier series of fx if uh, your interval is minus L to L or minus pi to pi or minus 1 to 1. You can have various uh, cases. Uh, specific cases I am considering here in this discussion as minus L to L here it is L minus L and here it is L so minus L to L if the function fx is even so what will be the result here we can see that 
the pn value comes out to be zero let's let's see now what i am saying i am saying here that fx is a uh, even even function so if fx is an even function a naught will even function from minus a to a or minus l to l will exist so this value will be calculated now here if it is an even function and cause is also even function so even into even will have a even function so a n by the property of definite integral will exist and uh, now the b n value if it is an even and it is an odd function so the resultant is the total value is an odd function and this will come out to be zero so we we in case of uh, even function b n value without uh, any calculation we can predict the bn value so this value can be predicted and we can say that function is even point is not for any function even function negative to positive bn zero so you only have a a naught a n and you can calculate a n a naught value is equals to 2 by l 0 to l fx why because you can calculate half of the integration and double the answer and what will be the bn value uh, sorry an value an value is again you can double the value and integrate 0 to l and integration of fx is from cos of n by x by l dx and come to this part of uh, the second that if the interval is minus l to l and the function is clearly declared as a odd function so what will be the uh, result here so let's see what happened here in this case uh, if i am saying that this is an odd function an odd function value the answer is zero if it is an odd function and it is an even even into odd is odd function so our answer is again zero here it is an odd and odd the odd into odd is even this value will get done so we can predict in case of odd function we can predict the value of a naught and a n comes out to be zero so we have only one term in the Fourier series of odd function from minus to plus interval and the bn value can be calculated by the formula here we can calculate 0 to l instead of minus l to l and double the answer because with the help of this property we are, we are using this property here because the value which is existing we can double it value which is clearly declared as 0 we can write here and uh, this is fx sine of n by x by l dx all these uh, formula can be applicable for any interval from negative to positive like minus 1 to 1 even function odd function minus 2 to 2 even function odd function minus pi to pi even odd function this concept is used only in this interval negative to positive if it is 0 to 2l then we cannot apply this concept so here we can predict answers in case of even odd function let's take uh, two examples of one is even and one case i'll take odd so first i am taking fx is equals to x and interval taken over here is minus pi to pi now you can see um, as it is an uh, even odd first first you cannot uh, directly think of even odd first if the interval is given from negative to positive and then you can see the function now i am observing that this function is odd function and when function is odd from minus l to l i can predict that a naught value is zero and a n value is zero so our fourier series of fx can be reduced this fx is equals to x here is reduced to only one um, series summation that is of sine part and the angle over here is nx so we have to only calculate one um, coefficient that is p n and here uh, we have x into sine nx uh, 2 by pi 0 to pi uh, because i am taking double not integrating minus pi to pi we can integrate from 0 to pi and double the answer now using that same formula this formula is very very useful because it save over time in the integrations and differentiation in many steps we can perform integration and we can apply the uh, limits in the second step so it's an u u differentiation is not started so this this is a u and this is v so 2 by pi and uh, no differentiation integration of sine nx is minus cos nx upon n minus of the formula 
then differentiation of uh, x is 1 here and we have an integration of minus cos is minus sign so after that minus minus become plus you can you can see that this minus minus will become plus over here so next step is first step is integration done and then next step is plugging in the uh, limits so here when i put the upper limit there are two terms so we get a four entry two for upper and two for lower so when i put here so pi times cos n pi upon n this minus can be written here sin n pi then the lower limit is 0 into cos 0 and minus and you observe that this value will turn to 0 this value is 0 into anything is 0 sin 0 so we have only one term in this bn calculation out of these four entries that is minus pi and cos n pi value is minus 1 to the power n divided by n of the coefficient constant here and uh, after putting all these uh, after calculation we get pi get cancelled and then we have a minus 2 minus 1 to the power n upon n since we are having the minus n having n powers one more power will club and it become n plus 1 so you can keep it separate or you can club it it's up up to you otherwise um, the answer can be minus 2 times so we got the Fourier series of the even function now let's take a second example of a even function but here in this case i took the interval from a numbers not from pi terms so here uh, it is minus l to l and we have a even function and in the even function we know that pn comes out to be zero so our fourier series of x square will reduce to a naught by 2 summation of co an cos n by x by l so here l is 1 so we get n by x next is calculation of these two coefficients a naught and a n a naught is equals to 2 by l 0 to l x square dx which is equals to x cube integration is done and by plugging in the value we get a a naught as a 2 by 3 now let's see the integration of a n here 2 by l 0 to 1 x square cos n pi x now I'm applying the same process. I hope you have now recalled the formula. Let's directly see that. Here it is u and here it is v. No differentiation. Integration of cos n pi x is sin n pi x by n pi. Now difference integration of cos is positive sign and integration of sin is negative cos. Now this uh, keeping integral term in the bracket is a safe first because uh, there is no uh, mistake of sign so i keep in the first step in the bracket and minus of the formula and differentiation of x square is this 2x and integration of sine is minus cos n pi n pi is already there one more n square will n pi will multiply it become n square pi square now next is the plus sign and differentiation of 2x is 2 here minus cos integration is minus sine and uh, we get after simplification we get this term now when I plug in there are three entries and the next term is zero that's why we got a three terms here. Next step is to plug in the values of upper and lower limit. When you plug in the upper limit we get these terms and uh, you know that this term will tends to zero cos n pi will have value sin n pi is zero 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 into anything is zero all these uh, out of six terms only one term will retain and that is a cos n pi and cos n pi value is minus 1 to the power n this 2 is from the formula and we get a 4 uh, minus 1 to the power n n square pi square this become our a naught so our function will be x square is equals to a naught by 2 so what is a naught here 2 by 3 so this become 1 by 3 plus summation here a n is 4 minus 1 to the power n n square pi square cos of n pi x and is from 1 to infinity so this way we can calculate the required entries so hope you have understood thank you